Now, what if I told you that a fan, right? He、um, asked a rapper for a picture, and instead of getting that photo, he got paid back in a brain injury. Would you believe me? Well, it's not about you believing me or not, because this is actually a story that happened. This is real. Let's talk about it. What's going on with you today? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're staying blessed out there. Want to have a little conversation about this、uh, recent story involving、uh, a rapper by the name of Nardawick, who's、uh, a rapper from from、um, he's from Florida. Now, some of y'all might know who、uh, Nardawick is. If you don't, don't worry, because you know personally, I don't think he's all that. Right? Talks a lot about killing. Honestly, that's the only thing he talks about. I do like that Who Wants Smoke song though. That's a that's a good record. Okay, it's a, it's a hot record. So this story starts with a young man by the name of George, who's 20 years old. Now this young man, a few days ago, decided to see his favorite rapper live in Tampa, Florida, at Club Sky. And what ended up happening is it was either before the show or right after the show. George spotted Nardo Wick at the back of the venue and started approaching him because he wanted a photo. Next thing you know, he gets brutally assaulted by Nardo Wick's goons. Or they're supposed to be bodyguards, but these guys are goons. That's what they are. But this is exactly what happens. He walks up to Nardo and、uh, he gets sucker punched full force from the right side of his back, like boom. And as he's trying to recover, another guy from his front adds two more forceful punches to the young man's face, and he falls to the ground, hits the back of his head on the concrete, and he passes out. The young man was eventually transported to the hospital, where he luckily survived. However, he did suffer brain injury, brain bleeding, and a severe case of concussion. See, this young man is very lucky that he's even alive because I've literally seen so many stories, and you might have seen these stories, right? Of where, let's say, two people are fighting, and then what ends up happening is one person ends up falling to the ground, hits the back of their head on the concrete, and they die. Those stories are very common. So this could have ended up. Completely different for twenty-year-old George. And by the way, this is why I always urge, you know, all my, all my young guys out there, man, don't don't get into no fights. It's not worth it, okay? And you're not a pussy because you decide to walk away. You're actually smart because you care about your life. If you want to go home to your loved ones, walk away. It's never worth it to get into no fight with nobody, especially when it's random people. Like if 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 you're fighting your homeboy, like y'all trying to scrap it, like I get it, okay? That's your homeboy. He's not gonna kill you, but. There's a lot of people out there who they have a lot of viol- they have a lot of anger inside of them, and they're looking for someone to test them. Now you're lucky, okay? You're lucky if you get hurt, because a lot of times people don't be fighting with their hands these days. Y'all know what happens these days, right? They bring out the guns, boom, you're dead. Can happen quick. I'm telling you. So just walk away, okay? I promise. I promise you're not a I promise you, you're not. Just walk away. It ain't worth it. But man, this video tells the entire story. I mean, this young man gets attacked for literally absolutely no reason, and these violent criminals, man, they need to get locked up. They need to get locked up because this, this is not okay, and this is crazy, insanity. I mean it. This is crazy. So how this story ended up catching heat, right? George's mother, she ended up posting a very Heartfelt message, because you know she woke up one day and then she gets a phone call that her son is at the hospital and he's suffering from a brain injury. The thing that she remembers before that happened is, "Hey mom, I'm going to a concert to see my favorite rapper," and then she gets a call, "Your son is in the, is in the hospital, suffering from a brain injury." So she puts up this very heartfelt message and this is what she said after the incident: "I want everyone to see what these mother did to my son." At no point was my son aggressive. At no effing point did、uh, he show any sign of harm. My son wanted a photo with his favorite artist, and this is what he gets. I am sick to my stomach to think about how this could have turned out. Please help me share this, please. As a mother, I am begging you to help get justice for George. Anyone who knows my son knows he is the sweetest and gentlest, gentlest kid ever. No drugs, alcohol, gang, nothing. I'm dying here, and my effing heart is hurt so bad. I'm sick to my stomach. I can't stay quiet. She ends that post with, and you know I feel for her because what in the world? I mean, this is straight insanity. Now, 
Narda Wick, he ended up posting something as well, and this is this is what Narda Wick said. I don't condone what happened to my fan, George, after my show in any type of way. I expressed that to him and his mama, how sorry and concerned I was that it happened to him multiple times before anything was even posted on, uh, or on the internet. I sent his mom my number, and instantly the night it happened. He said, I'm sorry, he said, I sent his mama my number instantly the night it happened. I was even going to make a post to try to find out who he was before his mother texted me. I can't control another man, grown man's actions. I ain't know that was going to happen. And I was mad when it happened. I tried to stop it, as you can see in the video, which is true. We'll talk about that later. And if somebody got the longer video, you can see how mad I was. I love and appreciate all my fans. I don't condone what happened at all. That ain't gangsta at all or cool in no, no type of way. So that's what Nardawick said. He put up this post after, you know, as a response because this story was going viral on Twitter. It was going crazy on IG too. A lot of people were talking about it after um, George's mother posted the the po after she posted the the thing on her on her social media accounts, right? Now, like Nardo states, right, he could actually be seen in the video saying "chill, chill, chill" after his goons. That's what they are, not bodyguards, goons. After they attacked this young man. Which, you know, I'll give him one point out of 100 for that. And, you know, the reason for why I'm getting him, I'm, I'm going to give him one point. That's because you don't wait for things like this to happen. Your supposed bodyguards are, are not supposed to violently beat up another person, let alone a fan. Like, come on, dog. Now, the fact that this happened in the way that it happened tells me one thing. This is probably not the first time they've done this. These Dudes were looking to beat on someone, okay? And George happened to be to be on the receiving end of their heinous actions. Because not once in this video is this young man seen doing anything but just walking up to his favorite rapper very calmly. And the next thing you know, boom! From the back, from the right side of his back. And then the other guy from the front comes and boom, hits him in the head. And he falls down and hits the back of his head. Poof! Just on the ground like that. But they could have not possibly known what he was going to do. He could have pulled out a piece and shot Narda Wick. That's what some people are saying, right? Well, if that's the case, how come they were not on the lookout for that? You understand what I'm saying? How come they, they were not doing their jobs as bodyguards? Because as a bodyguard, your job is to create a shield around a person you're supposed to protect. And it does not mean that even if someone makes it beyond that shield... That you have the right to assault him in this manner. The thing you need to know though is that these dudes are not his actual bodyguards. They're most likely his homies, okay? That he probably grew up with masquerading as his bodyguards. Because this would have never happened if Narda Wick hired professional security. This would have never happened if he hired actual security. Never. The primary duties of a bodyguard. Bodyguards are skilled in assessing threats and implementing strategies to prevent threats from occurring. While they do need the skills to react in the face of danger, the bodyguard's work really takes place before a threat even occurs. So hiring your homies who you probably grew up with on the block, who have zero professionalism, that's not hiring security. That's hiring fools. And this is where who you surround yourself with comes into play because, you know, if you have something to lose, like Nardo Wick clearly does, you got to be very cautious who you keep around you. And this goes for anybody out there, but if you ever find yourself in a situation where the company you keep take actions that put you in danger, is it their fault for behaving in their natural form, your fault for knowing this person's nature, but you still decided to keep them around you? To the point where it becomes a detriment to your own life. I don't want to hear no, I can't control another man's action BS. Well, you can control your choices as a grown man, right? So why in the world are you, as a grown man who's supposed to be a multi-millionaire rapper, surrounding yourself with people who are not doing their jobs properly? And if they're not doing their jobs, that's one thing. But if they're hurting people, if they're looking to hurt people, which these guys were looking to hurt someone, they wanted to do this. They're they were definitely trigger happy figuratively speaking they didn't use no trigger but they were fist happy they wanted to do something like this to someone a thousand percent if you've seen the video you can't tell me otherwise because look what they did to this young man and you know what Narda Wick is probably going to get sued for everything he has like he should like he should this is so unacceptable man I mean we got to start making an example out of people we just have to I mean something like this is a sign where the culture is headed in my seven years of covering thousands of stories, I've never heard a story like this. And that tells me where the culture is headed. 
I mean, on one side, we got guys like Travis Scott literally fighting security, you know, as, as soon as security lays a finger on on his fans. And, and, and then on the other side, we have uh, a situation like this where a fan literally gets assaulted for no reason. I mean, he asked for a pic. He asked for a picture. And he gets this. I hope this young man can recover from this. And I also hope that his family is gathering lawyers as we speak. And I hope we see a lawsuit because George's medical bills won't be cheap. I mean, the young man suffered a brain injury. That could literally financially ruin his entire family. So they need to collect a check pronto. ASAP. Get that money, guys. See, I'm not a lawyer, but to me, it looks like a slam dunk. Because if these guys are his bodyguards on paper, well, let's just say that you could get a lot of money here. And again, like they should. Guys, a broken ankle could cost someone up to 50k in medical bills. 50k. Now, if someone suffers from a, let's say, TBI, which is a traumatic brain injury, those expenses could reach a couple million dollars. Because you got to realize this young man's life has officially changed. Now, I hope it's not this bad, but he could very much be forced to get treatment for the next several years or possibly the next decade if the injuries are serious enough. So this is not a joke. Nardowick surrounding himself with these violent criminals changed a young man's life for the worse. And for that reason, I think he should be held accountable. There's no way around it. No way around it. He has to get held accountable. We need to make an example out of people like this. We do need to do that. Because if this is something that we let slide, I mean, next thing you know, that we might start punching kids now. That could happen. Because this young young man is not too far away from 18. He's literally, he's 20. He's, he's young. Young man. Ask for a photo. This is what he gets, man. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Honestly, there's not a lot of stories that have made me, you know, made my blood boil, boil in hip hop this year. But this is one. Because this involves a person who, completely innocent. Completely innocent. They're here for the music. His favorite rapper. Favorite rapper. And this happens. So I'm very angry after this story, honestly. I'm not too happy with this. So I hope we can be we can be on the same side here. Come on, guys. I hope we can be on the same side, same side, because I think it don't really make sense why we should not feel this way. So anyway, what you guys think about this story? A fan asked for a photo from his favorite rapper and uh, look what he got in return. I'm curious what you have to say about this story, though. Enough of what I have to say. What you What do you have to say? Any thoughts on this story? Let me know in the comment section below and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.